This is Stephen Montague from Queen's University General Internal Medicine. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how to save images and videos on the Sonosite M Turbo and how to export them from this device. This is the Sonosite M Turbo, which is one of the ultrasound machines that we use here at Kingston General Hospital. Let's take a closer look. To start a study, simply push patient new or end and in this screen you can enter in any patient information. I encourage you to put the indication as the name. In this case I will enter video and then press done. Once you have the study you can take an image When you have an image you like, you can press the Save button, and to better know which frame you are saving, you can push Freeze. With the trackpad, you can move forward or back to get the exact time you'd like to save, and then simply push Save again, and you save that image. I'm going to press freeze to unsave or unfreeze this. And if you wish to take a video, push the clip button and it'll take a video clip. And the duration of the clip is decided based on this lower screen. If you use the soft keys to go to page two, there's a clips button. And when you push clips, you can see in the second box that the default length is six seconds. Now that we have saved the images, in order to export them, you should push the patient button again, end this study, done. And to look at the bank of clips, push the review button and you'll see the list. With the trackpad or the arrow keys simply move over the image you want to export and push select. On this machine the USB keys or the USB ports are located on the right hand side so simply enter in your USB key With the study selected, press export to USB. It indicates the storage that I've inserted. If you select it, again with the trackpad or arrows and the select key, then highlight export. And it tells you that the export is in progress. And once it is finished exporting, that line will disappear. Unfortunately, it can take time, even for this study with two simple JPEGs and one short AVI. And now it is successfully exported to the USB key. I hope you found that useful. Please feel free to leave any comments or suggestions below, and happy scanning!